Mahalo Hawaii from the Kamaka Ohana. For a century of making your ukulele. For a century of your inspiration and friendship. Our Ohana authorized dealers help put the best ukuleles into your hands and into the hands of those you love. Ohana means family. Welcome to ours. Aloha, Kalei Gamiao here from Anui Nui USA. Thank you so much for supporting Craig and Sarah's Backyard Concert Series. We're so excited to be part of this. We have discount codes available, so make sure you tune in and don't forget to sign up for their Artist Works program. Take care and aloha. magazine is 10 years old. To celebrate, we're offering you 10% off our all-access subscription, which includes a download of every issue we've ever published. Visit store.ukulelemag.com and enter discount code BIRTHDAY to take 10% off your order. The newly refurbished Ala Moana Hotel by Mantra, conveniently located and always an island favorite. This is our hotel. Now make it yours. Ala Moana Hotel, where Kama Aina always gets the best rate. Use promo code LOCALS ONLY. Holidays are right, right up on us mm -hmm. here. And if you have anybody you love, maybe try thinking about hooking them up with an ukulele. <laughs> it's one of those gifts that, like, every time they pick it up, if they love it, it's like you know. You're gifting them a permanent smile. Aloha, and welcome to Craig and Sarah's Backyard Concert Series, Season Two, Concert Number Two. We are so incredibly grateful for our amazing sponsors, the Ala Moana Hotel, Analysis Plus Cables, Anue Nue USA, Artist Works, GHS Strings, Hawaiian Host, Kamaka Ukulele, Kani Lea Ukulele, as well as Ohana Ukulele, Pro Camera Hawaii, the Ukulele Site, and Ukulele Magazine. Also a huge thank you to our associate producers, patrons, and supporters. It is because of your generosity that we are able to keep this series free to the public. If you'd like to learn more about supporting this series, please visit our website. And while you are there, make sure to download your free digital program so you can learn more about the artists, enjoy a free mini lesson, as well as box charts for some of the songs that you will see during this concert. Now, we are very privileged to have these two amazing artists joining us today. They have been performing together for 20 years. Now, individually, they have done so much for our community. John Yamasato is known as the lead singer and guitarist for the band Pure Heart. He's also had a wonderful solo career and is a producer. But many of you may know him as one of the founders of High Sessions, an amazing online resource for local Hawaii artists. So definitely check them out. Herb Ota Jr. is a staple in the ukulele community. He tours and teaches all over the world. He is a multiple Nahoku Hanohana Award winner and has also won several Hawaii Music Awards. We hope you enjoy their music together. John Yamasato and Herb Ota Jr.
Oh, I still was, haven't made it through that song. That was so hard, and that was so hard. I sweat him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello, everybody out there in Internet Land. This is my show. <laughs> this is my show. And then my guest, Herbo <laughs> Junior. This is his show. <laughs> And we're going to be playing music for you for a bit, huh, Herb? It's not that Backyard series. It's not High Sessions. It's the John Yamashato show. It's the John show. Yamashato, Yamashato show. Did you just say Yamashato? Yeah, I said Yamashato. <laughs> <laughs> Yamashato show. Yamashato. All right. You ready to, to rock and roll another one, Herb? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. going to do this song called The Green Rose Hula in the key of F. For those of you who like to play <clears throat> along, F, B flat, C7. That's all you need to know. All right. And one, two, Alrighty. 
song called The Green Rose Hula with Mr. Herb Olta Jr. on John Yamasato's show. On my show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. That's what they told me before we started. That it was your show. Yeah. You're riding on my coattails today, baby. I've With that. I've always been, actually. I'd like you to do another song, please. Because your coattail is longer than mine. <laughs> 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 nah, but for real. Um, <laughs> nah, but y- for real. You can play another one. I can. Yeah. What do you want me to play? Uh, let's do like either Hula Heaven or um, the Elvis thing or Sandcastles. What, what is it? Or Sandcastles. Sure. Okay. John's going to actually let me play a song. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a song that I wrote uh, in Japan in a hotel lobby and I was missing home. And a song called Sandcastles, and it goes like this. Wait, wait uh, let me tell the story. So, oh, okay, go for I it. I was telling Herb yesterday, because he played a gig yesterday, that it's funny because when I learned this song, we were doing tours in Japan, plan- promoting this album initially. Herb wrote this song thinking in Japan, thinking about Hawaii, but when I hear the song, I think about Japan, because we were promoting this song in Japan. So it's like. Dual duality. That that was that's your story. That's my story. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I thought it was interesting. My favorite Herbota Jr. song. Thank you, John. Such an honor to play that song on your show. <laughs> <sighs> well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. I just I have to say that I'm so extremely excited about the concert. And 
I love getting to hear you guys play together live. It's really fun watching you two. So what I want to know, like I just found out actually before you started playing that you've been performing together for 20 years. Yeah, almost, almost 20 years now. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So what brought you guys together? Um, Fate. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Wait, it was destiny. Destiny. I like it. Yeah. But I mean, was I, there a gig or was there something where you both happened to be at the same place at the same time and said, oh, yeah, we should play? I, actually, Herb um, came looking for me. So I'll let him talk about that. I was I was uh, not playing at the time. Mm. You weren't playing at that time? Wow. Um, I was looking for a guitar player from my uh third project um and i liked the way john did his rhythm guitar yeah god so hard to compliment you <laughs> um and i know his i remember talking to him at one point and he said that he he always used to go and listen to the Cruz brothers whether it's john or ernie and um and that's what I felt when I heard his drum. Mm. So I knew that for him, if I was to use him as a guitar player, at least I'll have that solid foundation that I could work around. Mm. And um, that's why I asked him to record for me on my third project. That's awesome. Yeah. And then ever since then? Ever since then. It's just been fun. Ever since then. Been yeah. zipping all over the world and doing shows. and. I mean, yeah, we traveled quite a bit um yeah where together. all did you guys get to go we went to taiwan we've been to japan um we haven't been west, up and down the west coast yep texas so, chicago i mean a lot of places arizona uh, that's exciting <laughs> now. although you know what we've never been to las vegas nope all these years all these years never been to las vegas all right folks las vegas you guys we've been like everywhere else you know on that side of the mm -hmm. uh, the country but never mm -hmm. las vegas which is weird because i've been to las vegas a million times without playing yeah. well i have a feeling that that will change so yeah. look nice. out for look out for emails from people from las vegas who want you to come <laughs> yeah craig <laughs> <laughs> so all right so that project then it led to you guys actually recording albums together because you had mentioned you so you do mention in the concert that there was what take one and take two so okay. tell us about take one and how that came about Jeez, that was like what 17 years ago yeah take one was i mean we were playing so much together it made sense for us to do a project together yeah. because here we are playing together and i'm singing songs but um and i'm not yeah <laughs> <laughs> and i was like all right you know if we're going to be doing all these tours maybe we should have something that we can you know mm -hmm. promote together so it was basically just a uh, hey, want to do this? Sure. Okay. And then we just recorded. There's nothing strategic involved. It yeah. was so it was so easy to record with John because John did all his tracks. Yeah. Yeah. And then I just came in and did the uke parts, and then that was it. Done. That was it. We had an album. <laughs> so, That's awesome. Yeah. It's always nice when those kinds of projects fall into place. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So that was take one, which you said was 17 years ago. Yeah. Now, what about take two? What made you decide to do it again? Um, cause we had, well, okay. So John and I were performing at Willow's and we we're in traveling a little bit here and there. And he went to Japan with me to promote a Beatles. Um, I was on oh, a compilation right. album from the Beatles. Mm -hmm. So, um, he came with me to Japan and our, my, uh, agent just said, oh, let's do a tour then. So we did, we traveled all over the place. We did a tour, but. Um, for take one it was another trip planned so he said let's do this album you know why don't we do this album so um, that's how that album came about so take two there was another Japan trip <laughs> <laughs> he said we're going to Japan again okay, okay let's do another let's album, do another take album. Two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so that's basically how it came up yeah so it's funny that we're planning to go to japan in april of next oh, year okay so so maybe that we had to do another album well, yeah maybe take take five take, take five yeah, yeah. i like that yeah. then people where's take yeah three and four, four. Yeah, yeah yeah i like that yes okay. 
Hi, it's Soko. Um, we just want to say thank you to Craig and Sarah for allowing us to be here for the Backyard Concert Series. I was fortunate and honored to uh, be featured as a solo artist. Were you the first one that they did? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. I was like their guinea pig. Because <laughs> <So. laughs> I, but... I was like, I saw mine. I was like, oh, cool. And then I look at everyone else's like, all oh, this camera angle. I'm like, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> hey, someone's got to be the guinea pig. Yeah, I know. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's cool that it's cool that um, they asked uh, for for you to be a part of this because I think um, you're uh, very influential with the group Pure Heart. You guys are very influential for a generation, and um, I think um, you should be featured. And thanks to Craig and Sarah for allowing that. Yeah, well, thanks. Th- yeah, thanks for having me here. Thanks her for being here. Thanks on for uh, your show. Appreciate it. All right. silent show reminisce that sweet embrace of ginger as New York City walls closed in I long for the touch of an island Molokai Molokai Joe, weary eyes, Miss Joe smiles and lullabies in the evening time. It's been so long since I've been home, Miss Joe, morning sunrise of the countryside. Gone so far to find my way, this time I think I'll stay with an island. silent show reminisce that sweet embrace of ginger as New York City walls closed in I long for the touch of an island Molokai Molokai
All right. Song written by Melanie Billiards, uh, Molokai Sweet Home. So what, uh, what else you want to do, my friend? I don't know. It's your show, man. <laughs> I, I, I give out suggestions. No. Oh, um, we can do uh, Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, I like that song. Okay. I, I believe this song was written in 1937 uh, for a Bing Crosby movie um, that was filmed here in Hawaii. And this song was written especially for this movie. Song entitled In a Little Hula Heaven. I believe in 1937. Jeez. Were you alive? No. Not quite. No. Okay. Wasn't quite there yet. Okay. Well, song entitled In a Little Hula Heaven goes like this. It's fun. It's fun. So many people out there actually remember Pure Heart. Craig in particular, who yeah. is like super, super excited that you are in our backyard. <laughs> so um, for the folks that don't know about Pure Heart, could you tell us a little bit of like when did that band form and how did you guys kind of... formed in 1994. Yeah. And played private gigs till 1998 when our first CD was released. And we released another CD in 1999, and then by 2000, we were done. <laughs> so it was Fast. a six, six year run. But I, I, when you think about it, I've been with him 20 years. Right. That was six years. Yeah. But it was an intense six years, man. But yeah, I was going to say, Pure Heart, the just the sound of the band, I mean, it Christmas. was. <laughs> it was so influential for so many players out there. Even though I know you're saying it was like. Such a short amount of time, but it was an intense time, you said, yeah? Oh, yeah. We did so many gigs. Like, I, I can't even fathom how many gigs. We would do at least three gigs a weekend. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. And then during the week, we'd have gigs. And sometimes we'd have multiple gigs yeah. on, on the same day mm. every weekend. Like, it was yeah. cr crazy. Like, uh, but 
even though you said it ended, you guys have actually had some uh, some shows recently, yes? Yeah, yeah, we've been doing shows. And I think, like, none of us, I mean, all of us kind of stuck around in some ways. So, you know, people still kind of remember because we didn't just disappear. Right. Yeah. 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 So. Ah. And so after that, you were actually able to do some recording of your own because I know and Craig talks about uh, other projects that you have done and you ended up doing producing too right no so like when we were doing the pure heart thing I used to sit there and think boy you know our cut we spit split three ways but the producer's cut he gets all of that <laughs> I need to be on that side of the <laughs> equation not this side of the <laughs> equation so then yeah I started doing production but 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 with the idea that if everyone understood how it worked, yeah, then they could do it themselves, mm -hmm. and they could get more for themselves. You know, right. like I wanted the artists to really like be able to to do more themselves, and mm -hmm. then and then get more out of their deals. Because everyone I thought was getting kind of ripped off back in those days. That was my opinion. But um, <laughs> yeah, a, a, yeah. But uh, you know what I learned? Not everybody wants to do stuff. <laughs> Well, there is that. <laughs> they they kind of want to just let someone else do it and take more of the money. And I'm like, oh, I, it doesn't make sense to me. But, but yeah. I think it's great that you actually were able to give people opportunities to learn and yeah. to be able to do it themselves, because that is something that I know Craig and I, we do a lot of the things ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, I don't know, I feel I have a lot more ownership of it, obviously, right. when you do it all. Right. So that's, I love that you actually were, yeah, that was the idea that. back then. I mean, it, it, it's so different. The market is so different now. But yeah, uh, yeah the idea was, um, well, I, and I like being in the studio. It, it's a controlled environment. You can work at your own pace. You can mm -hmm. redo things. You, you're not pressured by, you know, <laughs> and, I mean, I like audiences and stuff, but, well, I don't like recording with her. <laughs> <laughs> That's obvious. <laughs> That's a whole different story. But yes. when I'm doing my projects, <laughs> then, you know, it's very relaxing and fun. Yeah. yeah yeah so so then i thought okay maybe if i taught people how to do that then mm -hmm. then they could do it on there but yeah now out of that then um i know there's another group of people that know you for high sessions right now how did high sessions come about so high sessions was uh okay uh, i told this story many many times so let me see if i can do a different iteration of it <laughs> um you know at my day job mm -hmm. The guys like to go golfing. And everyone usually has this once a month. Do you golf? No. no Herb doesn't <laughs> golf either. I don't like golfing. It's hot. It's long. So I thought, okay, instead of golfing once a month, I'm going to get together with my friends and we're going to make music videos once a month. I love it. Because my, my, my good friend Dave was getting into video production. So I was like, hey, this is since you're starting, why don't you test your stuff out on, on this and I'll get the artist. We'll just have, like, you know, have a good time. So then we uh, started, yeah, shooting video, and then we had no idea what to do with the videos. So we're like, we'll just put up on YouTube, and then that became our monthly thing, and and then it turned into the whole thing. You know? What year was that? Two thousand eleven. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, so it's been 12, wow. Eleven years. Twelve years. So I have to tell you that. So Craig and I got to be on high sessions a yeah, long yeah, yeah. time ago, and. For me, as an ukulele player, I remember thinking, I made it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I get to go to high sessions. Like, it was something that was really, really exciting. And thank you so much for having, oh, having us. I love, I love you guys set. Yeah, thank I, you. You know, there's, I have this private playlist. Mm -hmm. It's called John's Playlist. <laughs> but no one can see it. But it's under the high sessions yeah. thing. And your videos are in there. Oh, And thanks. I only put, like, the stuff I like in there. And I play it when I'm, like, doing work and stuff. Well, that for me, I know, was something that was just, it was really exciting, but also incredibly inspirational for us. And nice. that's actually, High Sessions is in part what inspired us to actually start doing these backyard sessions. Good. So thank you for inspiring these. We, well, we always talk about that, but now we actually get to tell you. Well, thank you. You're, thank very, you. you're very welcome. <laughs> I don't know how much I had to do with that, but. But it's good. I mean, you know, yeah, back in 2011, no one had good video. No. Now there's good video all over the place. Yeah. So, and uh, these true. type of things are good. I mean, the more the merrier to me. Yeah. yeah. 
And speaking of more the merrier, there's also now a podcast yeah, as well. The podcast, yeah. The podcast is a whole different different thing. Uh, it was basically um, because our show. See, when you do your stuff, you have a you're a personality. You're there you're talking to the audience. You have a relationship with your audience. We didn't have that. We were just music video after music video after music video. Gotcha. So uh, we kept brainstorming like, um, well, what can we do to reach the audience? And uh, yeah, the podcast idea came up. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'll do a podcast. And then that's what we've been doing for almost three years now. I can't believe how fast that goes by. Oh my gosh, yeah. yes. I we're guess it like has been three. episode 130 something. Oh, and then you, you, you think about it like, oh, okay, we'll get together once a week and do a podcast. And you, you don't think about it and the pandemic hits and two years goes by and you're doing these podcasts on Zoom. And the next thing you know, you have 100 something podcasts. It's crazy. Wow. That Yeah, it is crazy how time flies yeah and but we just wanted to put a face and and some something to the name so that because people would email in sometimes and you know that they want to know what more about the show or yeah. more about an artist and this was a way for them to connect with the with the crew and so all of our um so we do have a patreon i was about to ask you about yeah. that go ahead and so we started this patreon because um there are people who are like hey can i donate money to the show and Aww. it's like uh i don't know how you would do that you know back you know five yeah. years ago whatever so we set out this patreon so people want to donate they can get cool stuff and the people who are patrons whenever they're in town so if they're like um we've had a bunch of people like california west coast and they're visiting and we happen to have a shoot that day it's like come on down you know yeah. come on down to the show and we we shoot now at the four seasons oh, that's in a the beautiful. penthouse unit oh, that's so beautiful. they come in yeah they come in and we feed them and they can hang out um there was a uh, Patreon that came last time, and unfortunately we we're understaffed, so I had to shoot camera, so mm. I didn't get to spend as much time with them. But usually, like I can hang out and yeah, you know. Oh, did they get to? Did you put them to work? They did the clapper. Yeah, everybody comes in and does the <laughs> That's clapper. Great. Yeah, so you learn. Uh -huh. You learn that. Yeah. That's so awesome. so yeah, so our Patreon is mostly that. I, I you know we try to put on content. I'm gonna try to have him come in and do something. Yes. Um just for patrons but just b between the podcast and the shoots and the the answering emails and you know we have t-shirts and all that kind of stuff it's, i'm getting kind of stretched thin already yeah mm -hmm. well thank you for all of the work that you do because you. it does impact a lot of people and it has impacted a lot of people over the years so thanks john we're well, great and and do people did people see the uh videos that you guys did you and craig yes okay good yeah and that's the part with like i don't you don't we don't know you know and then next thing you know like people come back for the second time mm -hmm. shoot and they're like oh you know i got this gig because someone saw the video and it's like oh really wow well, great. i feel like that was one of the few really good videos we actually had of us at that time playing together and i think we had just picked up those Kanilea instruments actually oh. they weren't our custom customs but they were they were instruments that like, I think we picked those up and then like a couple of days later, then we got to come see you guys. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. People, I used to tell people all the time because you used to do all the tours all over the country mm -hmm. and people would say like, who's the most popular? And well, everyone knows like Jake and stuff like yeah. that. And they're like, who, who are, I'm like, I bet you Craig and Sarah Chi <laughs> are like super. Cause they go to all these ukulele things. <laughs> I bet you they know plenty of, of people like that, you know? Yeah. It's a lot of fun. So I'd always bring up your names. Oh, thank you. All right. Uh, it's a song I wrote called Emily. Herb doesn't remember this one. So that's why we're playing it. It's e, in the key right? of E, yeah. Set 
Yes, I know today you will be my love tonight. Oh, sweet Emily, say the word and there I'll be. Oh, sweet Emily, secret one of my dream. They say love comes to those who wait, and I've waited all my life. As the sun sets, I know today you will be my love. Perfect. That was perfect. Because <laughs> we both laughed at the same time. <laughs> Please keep that in there. You want it? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember the first time he played that song with me at um, Willows. And he's like, hey, let's try this one. It's in the key of E. I'm like, okay. So he starts playing it. I'm like, and while he's singing the song, because his wife's name is Stacy. <laughs> okay. So. Why he's singing the song? I'm over there on the segue. Does Stacy know about this? <laughs> Does Stacy know about this? He just needed an excuse not to play an E. Uh, no, but he's singing. I'm like on the segue. Does Stacy know about this? <laughs> Who's? Huh? No, no willows. Yeah, it's a bummer, man. That was our spot. Herb and I had a spot. You know, at least once a month, I would see him and hang out and play, and people yep. could come down and we'd see people and stuff. Like when. You know, guests would be from in from out of town. Oh, come down to the Willows. You know, hang out with us. We'd take like these forty-five minute breaks <laughs> in a two-hour set, but it was great. You know, like, and um, yeah, to a point when she was like, yeah, 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 but yeah. So now we don't have a home. And DJ was our song guy. Mm-hmm. DJ Pratt was our song guy. Yeah. Well, this next song is a song that um, back in two thousand and three, I recorded a solo project called Ukulele Romance, and. Um, I asked John to do rhythm guitar for me for the whole album. And uh, I remember arranging this song in, at Mauna Lani Hotel on the Big Island. Um, all in one day I did. I arranged 12 songs in like four hours. And uh, this song was kind of, after I arranged it, I was, it was kind of off to me. I was like, hmm, maybe I should not do it this way because it's a well-known song and people love this song the way it is but um i remember my father always telling me if you're gonna record a cover song make it your own um so that's what i did so this is our my version of an elvis presley classic from 1961 from a movie called blue hawaii um it was a ballad sung to his girlfriend's grandmother's birth for his grandmother's birthday 
And uh, yeah, that song is 62 years old. Isn't that crazy? Almost. Almost, yeah, <laughs> almost, yeah. <laughs> Nice, man. I like that arrangement. Thank you, John. It means a lot when you compliment me. Oh, you're a really good ukulele player. Thanks, John. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay, we... Talk over this. Well, see, I gotta. I'm thinking pure heart now, right? So. Oh. So I gotta get that shape. Get that vibe going. Sit all alone with 
sitting by the phone just to hear a call from you. Though it's not the same just to hear your name, what am I gonna do? But I'll be alright every day and night if you could stay with me. Every time you go, gonna let you know it causes me to be just a little bit crazy, 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 crazy. One of my most requested songs when I'm by myself. No, when I play with you too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. People ask for that. Yeah. I'm gonna do some paniolo. Oh, okay. How far are we in right now? I gotta figure we're pretty far in, so that's yeah. I'm trying to like blast out as many songs as we can. Okay, we, we, <laughs> we, we uh, John and I recorded uh, two albums together, and our oh, first album right. was called Take One, and our second album was called take two and we might do a third album called take three four. <laughs> <laughs> so, we should do a take four and yeah we should do like, take four and take show three everyone else like, where's take three what happened to take three <laughs> <laughs> our five fans but anyways um and i recorded this song uh we recorded this song together on our album called take one and it was uh, a song written by gabe Kila. And made popular by the diva herself and T. Melvin lead. But uh, it was my arrangement of a song that she made popular called Paniolo Country. It goes like this.
Well, thank you both for being here. It's been an absolute pleasure having you. And I have sort of one potentially final question. We'll okay. see, which is, what does the future hold for you guys? So you had mentioned maybe touring in Japan, but is there maybe take 2.5, take five? We're, we're going to come up with a with a, a name for the album, but we'll definitely do something else. Final take. Final take. <laughs> No, no. I, I, yeah. I, oh yeah, I had the I had the idea the take of all takes. Oh, I like that. Yeah, and you guys play around town as well. Uh -huh. Yes, just but more like when people ask. So if people want to learn more about your shows, like they're coming to town, uh, they're coming over, they live locally. How can they find out <laughs> where and when you're playing? You know, you bringing that up makes you think we should be much better about that. <laughs> <laughs> I usually post it like the day before on my Instagram. I posted the day okay. of. Yeah. So. Okay, but so Instagram it. for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And or Instagram Facebook and whatever. Facebook. Yes. So yeah, but that's about it. I don't, oh yeah. Uh, anybody oh, yeah, so, coming up for high sessions that we should know about? We shot a few people. Um, man, I can't can't remember uh, their names off the top of my head. I know I know we Christian from Honua Ho came back. Oh wow. That was a, that was a fun one. Yeah. And we do have some artists lined up for uh, next year. But um, I don't book the show anymore. Oh, yeah. So, so those of you out there, I, I don't book the show anymore. So <laughs> you can ask me, but, but I have no responsibility. Mm -hmm. it, it got kind of like crazy, too, because people would be messaging me all the time. Yeah. And they're like not even from the U.S. And so I'd be writing back like, uh, are you going to be here? Or <laughs> like, yes. how do you? Yeah. Like, and they're like, oh, I, you know, th everyone has their own idea of. But uh yeah, I don't book the show anymore. Okay. I had to take that off me because, um, because I'm in the business, you know, there's like, you know, if I don't, if I don't respond to people, or if I say, no, sorry, then it's like, I see them around. Yeah. So we, we put on a guy who's like, has nothing to do with music. So if he says no, like it's not. Yeah. yeah. So that, that, that had to change. Well, I'm glad that you don't have that stress anymore, Yeah. but it's exciting that you guys have already done film. I already have bookings for next year. Um, mm -hmm. and that's all. We're supposed to go to Japan in April. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll we see. will. You will. You yeah, will. we will. And then Pure Heart will be doing um, the Blue Notes uh, January 18th and 19th. Oh, awesome. Then on the 20th, we'll be on Kauai. And then on the 21st, we'll be on Maui. Although those dates have not been released yet. So mm -hmm. I haven't said anything because can't buy tickets yet or okay. anything. Okay. All right. But keep eyes peeled. January. January. Yeah, so yeah, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. So there's a lot of great what, stuff coming up. What's even more exciting? So I, I'll give, I'll just let everybody yes, know. do it. Is that um, it's a Jake Shimabukuro show. It's oh. just that we will play as part of the show. So <gasps> what's more exciting is I only have to do half the show. <laughs> and then I'm done. I can and go And you home. can enjoy the show. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can enjoy you the can, show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> well, that's awesome. And again, thank you guys so much for joining us today for the concert. Thanks for having us. Thank it you for having us. Awesome. Thanks, Herb. Thanks for coming to my show. Thanks. This will be our last song <laughs> today. Thank you, everybody who came to view us on the internet. I would like to say thanks to uh, Manoa Miss Productions. Yes. Very again, Sarah. Very again, Sarah. Thank always so wonderful much. people to work with and they always bring you some kind of food that is delicious <laughs> or drink or something yeah, or something it's never it never, never never just come to my house there's always something in right yummy involved totally all right now we're going to g
nations, babe. Speak louder than words. I've got the pop, bring me a good pop the cork and try to soon. When you empty, I'll fill you up. Drink it down till the sun comes up. do this if Craig and or Sarah come up and join us. Everybody ready? One, two, one, two, three, four. I wanna know 
The junior John Yamasato. Thank you guys so very much for being our second concert in our season two of our Backyard Concert Series. Man. Please, again, high sessions. Subscribe and like. <laughs> <laughs> and find more information about these guys. They're absolutely incredible musicians and incredible people. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Uh, aloha. On average, how many words a show does Herb say? I'd say plus or more, well, not more than 20. <laughs> oh, I have to answer that? Oh, is, oh. That, is that true, Herb? Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's switching to Sony. Why are you still with Canon? Oh, I still like the color of the Canon. Plus, I have all the lenses. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not a millionaire, you know? I gotta... I can't... I had to switch over. For those of you who don't know, John is an excellent photographer as well. If you check out his Instagram and Facebook, you'll see a ton of photos, uh, especially recently you of know, uh, baseball. Uh, of, of yeah, my, that's the only thing I really take pictures of now. Like, I used to make time to go out and take pictures of stuff, and now I'm just too lazy. Or when are you getting a new uh, laptop? Ooh. Laptop? Or desktop? I mean, desktop. Oh, I, I, I'll I jump know. on that. Ooh. Would you would you get <laughs> would you get a uh, so I'm in the market for because my my I didn't realize my iMac is uh, a 2014 2014. Oh yeah, that yeah, so it's, it, it's, yeah. it's Just, done already. <laughs> like I start up Lightroom and I go and I use the bathroom, brush my teeth, and I come down and then then it's open by then, you know. <laughs> so you, I'm gonna tell you what Sarah told me. Okay. Craig. Yeah. Will be your most expensive friend. Oh. <laughs> No, because I like I like the all-in-one iMac. Just mm. buy that. But then my friends are like, oh, no, you got to get the more powerful. Because now it's a cube, right? Thing. The studio, yeah. And then you buy the screen separate. Mm -hmm. That's like Apple, man. But I like the all-in-one idea. It's just it's just on my desk. Just duct tape and that's the, it. the screen on the thing. and <laughs> <laughs> Digital all-in-one.
All right, what about you, Herb? What, what, yeah. what do you got in yours? Kind of jumped on your question. <laughs> I don't actually don't need one right now. Um, no, I don't need. No, I don't need, no, I don't need, no, I don't need one right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably gonna wait for the iMac to come out with the M3 chip. Mm-hmm. But again, I, I just wanted to say a personal thank you again. You inspired so many in so many different ways. Um, and watching the two of you, like Sarah says, there is a special connection there, which is really fun to watch. Um, we don't feel it. Well, you don't show it, but you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but it really, really is special. So thank you guys so much for joining us. But definitely check out High Sessions if you haven't already. They keep upping the bar and we look forward to more work that they do.